Hello student, we are going to start our session Digital Image Processing. Shongita Rai, Assistant Professor, Electronics and Communication Engineering Department, Narula Institute of Technology. Content, Segmentation of Digital Images, Thresholding, Segmentation Based on Region Growing. Now earlier we have seen that this is a picture which consists of in the left hand side representation of a step function and in the middle there is a ramp and in the last one there is a intensity profile corresponding is showing and the step function corresponding its intensity profile is step and for the middle one the intensity profile is ramp and the last one in the right side it is intensity profile is roof edge and it is also another example of horizontal intensity profile first derivative and second derivative now this is very important from the point of view which we, we will show later in the section that these profiles the first derivative of a ramp is step while the second derivative of this is equal to a sharp change to impulses in the two reverse side one is in the positive side another in the negative side and there is a zero crossing in between so this is the different profile and with uh, noisy contamination and how it changes due to standard deviation already discussed previously now basic edge detection so image gradient and its property when there is a image and corresponding gradient of the image is showing gx by gy and gx is equal to del f del x and gy is equal to del f dy this is the gradient of an image now magnitude is equal to square root of as we know from the vector physics that magnitude is equal to gradient x square plus gradient y square root over now direction how we can get the direction direction is gy by gx and the particular angle is tan inverse gy by gx now this is very important in case of edge detection now below the picture showing uh, uh, determination of the strength a block has taken of a image in the pixel it is showing and one block is taken and its gradient vector is showing and how the angle alpha is formed it is also showing now gradient vector and edge direction it is also showing by the arrow sign now gradient operator earlier we have sh shown that gx is the horizontal gradient gy is the vertical gradient now the horizontal gradient is given by del of function divided by del x that is equal to fx plus 1 y minus fxy whereas uh, in uh, gradient in the y direction is given by the fx y plus 1 minus fxy and corresponding a 3 into 3 region of an image has been taken and how it is operated on Roberts kernel, Previtt kernel and Sobel kernel and the right hand in the left hand side it is the uh, x axis um, kernel and the right hand side it is y axis kernel now original image in the left hand top row it is a size of 834 into 1114 pixels and it is scaled into 0 to 1 intensity and corresponding picture picture b is the gradient along x axis and uh, c is gradient along y axis and d is gradient image gx module of gx plus gy now the same sequence but the uh, original image smoothed by 5 into 5 averaging filter earlier it is the original image the left top row but here it is smoothed by 5 into 5 average filter after that the same operation x axis gradient y axis gradient then magnitude axis gradient calculated now the diagonal edge direction result of the mask 
and corresponding in the both cases it is used a diagonal edge if it is the uh, if the gradient is diagonal how the image changes with mask and without mask combining the gradient with thresholding now here no thresholding means thresholding is a particular after range of value up to that it will be zero and after above that it will be considered as one so it is not with thresholding but here it is thresholded first one is uh, the image the original one threshold version and the second one is 33 percent of the highest value of the pixel is thresholded more advanced techniques for edge detection the edge detection method discussed in the previous section are based on simply on filtering an image with one or more mask with no provision being made for edge characteristics noise content because noise is an important part and parcel of image whenever it is traveled some noise will obviously contaminated with the original image at the time of acquiring or as the uh, image ray is traveling so edge detection is a very important and required part with noise and how to eliminate this noise and we have in the noise model section there are different kinds of noise that is unknown to us but you have to characteristics that you have to model that so that best way we can get the original image mar hildreth edge detection one of the earliest successful attempts at incorporating more sophisticated analysis into the edge finding process is attributed to mar hildreth 1980 edge detection methods is in use at the time where based on using small operators such as sobel mask mar hildreth argued one that intensity changes are not independent of image scale and so their detection requires the use of operators of different sizes number 2 that a sudden intensity change will give rise to a peak or trough in the first derivative or equivalently to a zero crossing in the second derivative this idea suggests that an operator used for edge detection should have two salient features first and foremost it should have differential operator capable of computing a digital approximation of the first and second order derivatives at every point in the image second it should be capable of being tuned to act at any desirable scale so that large operators can be used to detect blurry edges and small operators to detect sharply focused fine details now mar hildreth argued that the most satisfactory operator fulfilled the condition in the del square g that that is to second order differentiation and del square is the laplacian operator del square del x square plus del square del y square and g is the 2d gaussian filter therefore gaussian filter with second order derivative with standard deviation rho the space constant to find the del square g we perform the following operation and finally the laplacian of gaussian operator we are getting in the last stage now this is the figure of the laplacian of gaussian operator or filter mask and if we take the top view it will be looking like the second b and if we take the cross section if we take the uh, vertical uh, profile then it will be look like figure c and if we take the coefficient it will be 5 into 5 mask with the coefficient it will be look like figure d so in the center it is the highest value as it is going outward the value is negative and in the extreme value is again going to be the positive side with respect to the negative value now it is the original picture a 834 into 114 1114 four pixels intensity and result of step one step two of that for first derivative then second derivative of laplacian of gaussian or mar hildreth algorithm using first one is rho is equal to 4 and the second one n is equal to 25 therefore standard deviation 4 and with the size n is equal to 25 zero crossing of b using a threshold of zero now the figure c without any threshold now the figure d with the 4% thresholding it is getting 
so as the uh, there is threshold the picture details is coming out means edges are being prominent the canny edge detector one of the premier detector all uh, edge detector although the algorithm is more complex the performance of the canny edge detector 1986 it was established discussed in this section is superior in general to the edge detector so far we have studied canny approach is based on these three objectives number 1 low error rate all edge should be found and there should be no sparse responses that is the edge detected must be as close as possible to the true edges number 2 edge point should be well localized the edge located must be as close as to the true edge that is the distance between a point marked as an edge by the detector and the center of the true edge should be as minimum as possible number 3 single edge point response the detector should um, return the detector should return only one point for each true edge point that is the number of local maxima around the true edge should be as minimum as possible this means that the detector should not identify multiple edge pixels where only a single edge pixel exist the essence of canny work was in the expression following the preceding three criteria mathematically and then attempted to find the optimal solution to this formula in general it is difficult to find a close form solution that satisfied all the points however using numerical optimization with one d step edges corrupted by additive gaussian noise led to the conclusion the first derivative of a gaussian and it is given by the following equation below summarize of the canny edge detector is in the following steps number 1 smooth the input image with a gaussian filter number 2 compute the gradient magnitude and angle images number 3 apply normal um, non maxima separation to the gradient magnitude image number 4 use double thresholding and connectivity analysis to detect and link the edges so this is a figure original figure figure a figure b threshold gradient of smoothed image number 3 with log filter or mar hildreth algorithm output and number d canny edge detector output obviously by canny edge detector the image is the best edge detecting so far now original here image of a ct scan image 512 and 512 pixels the uh, original image a b is thresholding gradient and then smoothed c is mar hildreth or log and d is the canny edge detecting output so canny shows better result these are the references thank you we will meet in the next day